Welcome back, you guys. If you don't know me, my name's Kristen. I am a certified holistic nutritionist from Toronto, Canada, and today we crossed the border to go to Whole Foods in Buffalo, New York. The US just has a way better selection of health food products. My first stop was the natural beauty section. I love non-toxic and clean beauty and skincare products, and I found this brand called Current State. I didn't pick up any products this time, but I'm gonna have to go back and get some. We love a good greens powder. This one is by Amazing Grass. I liked it because it is all organic and there's no weird additives. I love greens powders for people who are really busy or if you're traveling, but they shouldn't be used as a substitution for actual vegetables. Okay, the amount of amazing supplements they have here, I was shocked and unfortunately I didn't take any home with me. As a holistic nutritionist, I already have way too many supplements, so I just looked. This looks so delicious, we need this in Canada and this is perfect for anyone who struggles to digest cow dairy. The next product I've never seen before, they are Fonio chips, and I learned that Fonio is an ancient grain from Africa, so I thought this was pretty interesting. I'm not even kidding, I probably spent two hours in Whole Foods, but I really encourage everyone to spend a lot of time while grocery shopping. This gives you a chance to really learn and understand ingredients and take control of your own health. And then I found these sweet potato chips with sea salt, super clean ingredients. They are made with avocado oil instead of seed oils, which I absolutely loved. I love this neon sign, and this is probably also America's most expensive grocery store, but I mean, health is wealth, it's the best investment. This product is perfect for tea drinkers, it's raw honey with lemon and ginger, they also have some other flavors, and it's just very simple ingredients with health benefits. Okay, green banana pasta, I'm intrigued. The ingredients are clean, it's organic. However, green bananas are very high in prebiotics, which can sometimes cause bloating in people. I've had this before, if you know, you know. This is one of my favorite pancake mixes. If you can handle gluten, this is by far the cleanest baking mix I've ever found. All of the ingredients are organic and it is fermented sourdough, so it is way easier to digest. Okay, and now we are moving on to refrigerated and frozen products. I found this called Petite Pot, number one. The logo is really cute and it is a vanilla bean dessert. The ingredients are clean and it is certified organic. This product is great if you have kids. This is a way better option than your average freezy. It contains organic ingredients and nothing artificial. This one here is for all of my paleo friends. I love Susie's, the brand. Everything is grain free and I've had this before. It tastes delicious. Dairy free and healthy fats. Yes, please. This is an avocado based dairy free ice cream. The ingredients are clean. It looks super delicious. In Canada, I've only tried one brand of grain-free pizza crust, and it wasn't really the best. It fell apart, so I'm hoping this one is a way better option. As a gut health nutritionist, I think bone broth is such a healing food. It's amazing for the gut. It's nutrient-dense and fairly high in protein as well. Another Capello's product, I've had this before. It's butternut squash ravioli, grain-free of course. I add some butter and some sage, and it is delicious. Something I always tell people is to eat real food because food is medicine. Okay, I came across this protein powder. I've never heard of it before. It's called Cho Cho, and apparently it's a regenerative crop that comes from the Andes Mountains. I'm definitely going to research this more and then I can update you guys because I've never heard of it before. It's time for me to head back to Canada, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, follow for more.